why not use a spreadsheet? One of the cool things about spreadsheets is you can make multiple tabs along the bottom. So students can do some work and do some more work on the next tab and do some more work on the next tab. They can persevere in problem solving, work on something over time, or just chunk it up. Now when you create your assignments where they do a little bit of work on every tab, you can create a response sheet. So check out this sheet that I have here. I am going to put in my name, then I'm going to go to the next tab. So you see along the bottom that I have multiple tabs for the students to fill out. I'm going to put in some numbers here. Now this does not have to be numbers and it does not have to be math. I am a math teacher, but you can type anything into a spreadsheet, it's just a table. So it could be spelling words, vocabulary, answers to questions, it could be anything. Now I'm gonna go ahead and come down to the end. You'll notice that my last sheet says responses. And so notice on the first tab I had put my name and so you can see it's here on the responses tab and here are those numbers that I had typed in. I'm gonna come back to the name sheet and I'm gonna put Nancy, that's my sister, and coming back to the responses, you see that it now shows Nancy. So the advantages to this is I have a bunch of tabs along the bottom where students will do a variety of tasks and then all of their answers and responses come into this one response spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and make something like that. I'm gonna to go to sheets.new. Now some of the key things you need to know about using a spreadsheet is how to make the columns wider. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this column wider and this column skinnier if you'd like. So you just get right in between the column indicators to make those wider and smaller. So I wanna ask what is your name? And I'll go ahead and make this actually wider and then I like to use the paint can with a light yellow to show students put your answer in there. So I'm gonna put here name, and then I'm gonna come down here to the bottom where it says add sheet. So I'm gonna add a sheet and double click where it says sheet two, I'm gonna call it responses. Now the trick is to just use an equal sign. It is really that easy. So on your responses sheets, so you add a new sheet, we're gonna use an equal sign and then click where the students are gonna put in their answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put equals, and then go over to the name tab, and then I'm gonna click here on B1. You can see that it's gonna equal whatever is in B1 on the name tab, which right now is nothing. So when I come back and when the student comes in and puts in their name, you go to the responses tab, you're gonna see their name. Now you're gonna ask a question, when was the war of 1812? Now if you'd like, you can come right up to the toolbar and you wanna to choose to wrap the text. This is one of the key things that you need to know about using a spreadsheet is if your text does not fit in the cell, you probably wanna turn on wrap. So I do text wrapping. I'm gonna use the paint can here because that's where I want them to put their answer. So on the responses tab, I'm gonna use an equal sign. So I simply type equals where I want the response to show up. So I'm going to come over here back to the name tab and they're going to put their answer in this box or this cell and then I'm going to push enter which again it shows nothing but if they put in 1812 I'll be able to see that response. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a sheet and I'm going to have more questions. You can actually drag the tabs so you can have this responses sheet be last if you'd like. And so I'm again going to make this wider so I can ask a question. Who was the first man on the moon? And I'm gonna use the paint can, put your answer in there, make this wider. So back on the responses sheet, I'm on a different tab and I wanna have that answer come into the same responses tab. So I'm gonna go here to this cell A3 and I just type an equal sign. I type an equal sign and then I click back on the sheet where they're going to answer. They're gonna answer on the more questions tab down here at the bottom and I'm just gonna click and you see it says get from the more questions sheet whatever is in B1 and I push enter. So when they answer, I'm gonna be able to see that 
on the responses sheet. So you'll be able to see all of the students' answers no matter where they put it in the spreadsheet in one place, which makes it a lot faster and easier to review student work. If you'd like, at the end, you can go to the little tiny triangle at the bottom on the tab, and you can hide this sheet because what you want is for them to go through the tabs and to fill out what you have on each particular sheet within the spreadsheet. And then later, when you look at student work, you can go to the View menu, go to Hidden Sheets, review the responses, and see all of their responses at once rather than having to click on every individual sheet.